Hi, this is Synth Chaser from SynthChaser.com. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, showing you how to uh, make some uh, grabber tool uh, leads for your multi-leader. Um, I had bought this kit, I think it was like $15, $20 off uh, Amazon, uh, mostly for the, for the mini grabber type of, uh, of leads for my multimeter. And uh, it was like totally cheap and the, the mini grabber came off and it, it couldn't be repaired. Uh, also, this was kind of inconvenient. You know, I had to, you know, unplug it, uh, unplug the old lead, and some of the leads used this kind of connection, and some of them used a different one. Uh, so I was really disappointed with this, and so I decided I'd make my own. Uh, and I'm using really cheap, cheap parts that I got bought off eBay. You can get ten of these mini grabbers um, from China for like a buck thirty. Uh, these alligator uh, clips I had from a. Harbor Freight, but I'm sure that they're also probably around a dollar for a, a good quantity of them off uh, off eBay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically I'm going to connect a wire between them, um, between them like this, and then this can clip on the regular uh, lead of my multimeter, and then I can use this grabber to connect to like a header. Um, you know, sometimes it's convenient to to have one left in place when you're taking measurements or making adjustments. Uh, so we're going to connect these two and it, it's pretty simple. For the alligator clip, uh, just pull the, uh, the little uh, plastic housing off and uh, that will expose the, the metal here. And we'll strip a bit of this wire and put it in here and we'll crimp it on there and then add some solder for good measure. Uh, on the, uh, the grabber, uh, basically we pull, pull this off and we can solder the uh, the wire here, and there's a little hole in the cap that it can uh, it can it can go through there. Uh, or if you want, you can drill a hole in the bottom of the cap so it can come out. I may actually drill a hole. This was mounted through the side hole, and it it seemed to put a lot of strain on it. So I'm going to drill a little hole in the bottom here, and then we'll connect everything. So, using a little piece of scrap wood so I don't drill into my bench, I'm going to take these little caps that I pulled off the base and I'm going to turn them on their side uh, and just drill a small hole in the bottom. Uh, I'm using a 964th bit, but, you know, whatever, whatever's just a little bit bigger than whatever gauge of wire you're going to use. So just make sure that the wire can, can fit through there. And, uh, and the next step is we're going to strip the ends of this wire. So I'm using an 18 gauge wire uh, and I can just strip a little bit of the wire there. Uh, I've already removed the uh, alligator clips from, uh, from their little plastic housing and I will uh, push, the, uh, push the wire through the little hole here and then uh, crimp the insulation there uh, on these little barbs. Uh, you can use just regular pliers like I am now. Uh, they'll work just fine. You can use a crimping tool as well, uh, but you don't really need any special tools for this. Uh, I'll do the other one and uh, then I'll heat up my soldering iron and uh, solder uh, here and on the, uh, the mini grabber. So I'm going to just uh, strip this one a little bit and poke that in here and crimp this down on the insulation of the wire. Nothing to it. Alright, I'm going to get the soldering iron going. So we're almost ready to solder these. The next thing we have to do is uh, slip these parts back on uh, because once, uh, once we solder these into place and put the second connector on, there won't be any way to get this back on. So first on will be the uh, alligator clip cover. And the second on will be the, uh, the mini grabber base. So we put those through the holes and then uh, take the mini grabber and there's a little hole there. Just stick the wire uh, through the hole and kind of... Uh, and just bend it over so it's 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 in place. And now what we're going to do is we're going to solder these. I've already done it on this one, uh, connecting the wires. We're just going to solder these uh, to get a better connection. The uh, 
The one that I bought there was not soldered and uh, it came apart easily. So there I've soldered it on the, uh, the mini grabber and now I'm going to solder on the uh, alligator clip where I had uh, poked the wire through the, uh, the top of the clip here. I'm just going to put some heat. Probably should be using a, a bigger tip than this. But uh, this will eventually get the job done. There we go. Uh, and then we uh, connect the, uh, this uh, cap back on the bottom. That it only goes in one way. You might have to look at it a little carefully to see how it's oriented. Um, let's see. I'm not looking at it that closely, but let's see. So just kind of push this in into place. There we go. And uh, then we'll pull the shroud over the alligator clip. I may have to squeeze that, squeeze that in like that, or prop it open on my finger to get that started. And then there we go. So I'm going to repeat the process with this one now. So I've soldered them and I've uh, put the caps and the shield on and they're complete now. So I have two of these uh, grabber lead tools for, uh, for about $2. Uh, but actually I probably could wind up with 20 of them for the same $2. And uh, I'll show you how it works and how it makes taking measurements so much easier. So I just put the grabber on, on one end of what I want to measure like this and I can connect it really easily to my multimeter and disconnect it easily to my multimeter just clip it on the leads of the multimeter like this and uh, I can take a resistance of this uh, this uh, resistors 10.2 ohms uh, it's really handy when you're measuring and adjusting power supplies to latch on to the ground uh, terminal with this black one and then you can hop to the other ones you know put it on a your, let's say your plus 15 volt rail and now you have both hands free to to make your adjustments as opposed to the standard probes of your multimeter which require you to hold it in place uh, so I replaced these uh, the lousy uh, set of uh, probe accessories that I bought on Amazon uh, for 20 bucks with uh, one that I made myself for two bucks that's 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 much better so hopefully this helps you um, increase your uh, your uh, test equipment setup uh, for repairing your your synthesizers or whatever other equipment you want to work on I uh, hope this helps if you have any questions please post in the comments thanks for watching bye